omphalocele versus gastroschisis. These two can be easily mixed up, so let's discuss the two. Omphalocele. Now, this is a herniation, but this herniation has its own membrane. It's encompassed within its own membrane called the peritoneum. In this herniation, it comes out of the umbilical cord specifically. In an omphalocele, usually the GI function is fine. It's an intact. It's not, there's no issue with it. And finally, with this, it's usually associated with some other disorders and defects as well. So Down syndrome, trisomies 13 and 18, as well as, well as congenital heart defects or neural tube defects. So when you have a patient who has this, they likely have one of those other things as well. Now, let's compare that to gastroschisis. In this case, this herniation, it's not covered by any membrane. It's free-floating when it protrudes out. In this herniation, it's going to be due to a paraumbilical abdominal wall defect, usually on the right side, but not always. Now, in gastroschisis, GI, in func GI function is problematic. There's usually an issue with it. In gastroschisis, there are no other defects that come along with it. So if you have a patient who has this, it's usually this problem by itself that they have. And in this gastroschisis, the issue is a GI function. So once you surgically fix that, you'll be fine. Now that's the difference between the two. Now here, I have a picture of the two so you can visually see. On the left side, we have an omphalocele, and you can see it being encompassed within its own membrane. On gastroschisis, on the right side. 